be what would running your own port provide? So let's talk a little bit uh, on the, the port server and. Okay. Uh, not sure about uh, where are we going with this question. Our port server is like our delay function that we are using uh, to show that the uh, many ticks of uh, past of sequential work. Mm -hmm. uh, like trying to answer directly this question, uh, I think that basically the way that the, the space mesh protocol is supposed to work is that in the happy flow, uh, you shouldn't really run your own port server. Like there would be a few port servers that uh, you can join and uh, uh, give submit your uh, resource proof, uh, your ATX, your uh, space time uh, uh, proof. And they, they will do the, uh, the the sequential work on that. They aggregate all of those together, and in the happy flow, they will behave nicely, and everybody will be okay. However, because there are only a few of them, if uh, if they're they're not uh, um, providing service, they, they they went offline. Then you can run on your computer. Uh, as a backup, the the port server, and you know that you can always, it's it's still permissionless. Like you don't need anybody sure. else, uh, uh, like a single point of failure in the system that can mess up everything. Uh, it can be everything can be implemented in such a way that in the worst case, uh, there will be a little more, uh, there will be more energy waste uh, if there is a downtime of the of port servers that provide service to everybody but it still works. So in the unhappy flow, uh, you can use uh, your own port server as a backup. So this is one answer to the question. Yes, the other answer is maybe you think that it's, uh, it's lucrative, it's attractive to, to become a port server and provide the, this service to many other use, uh, miners in the system. So if each of them give you some uh, micropayment for the service, uh, so if you want to become a, a port server and uh, serve many other uh, miners and maybe also yourself, then yeah, the more the better. Yeah, like the more the more port servers that we have, the better. But uh, on the other end, we we want to to be green, so we don't want to to have uh, so it's some parameter that is saying. Uh, uh, in terms of security, the more the better, right? The more that there are, uh, we are more secure if some of them go offline. But in terms of being green, uh, that's not so nice if all of them are doing the sequential work here concurrently yeah. among each other. So there is some parameter that is uh, some sweet spot that is saying uh, uh, those guys probably will not, uh, all of them go offline. So a uh, protocol is, is, is still uh, like very green. And uh, if anything goes on, then uh, it's not like we are stuck. Uh, anybody can do the work that those point servers are doing. Yeah, exactly. I think that's exactly the point of this question, like to describe that the point is not a real uh, single point of failure and is not uh, a centralized component in the system in the way that uh, anyone can run it and anyone can potentially uh, choose from multiple points um and uh, uh so, so so this uh obviously uh provides uh, uh miners with with the freedom to choose what they'd like to do um the reason that we minimize the amount of poets is as you said the uh, uh computation uh, uh the the high computation cost that uh this poet uh, server uh will take and we would like to minimize that to, to be a, a more green protocol.